All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. And how about this headline right here? Your grocery stores could soon run out of bananas. All right, now that is because some 85,000 port workers are set to walk off the job come Tuesday. Today, the International Longshoremen's Association says if they strike, its port workers would still service shipments involving the United States military. And if you're going on a cruise, they'd be there to help as well. But nothing else beyond that mentioned. Now, this impacts 36 ports in more than a dozen locations from New England down to Florida, all the way across to Texas. And it is more than just bananas. Clothing, footwear, fruit, plywood, autos, you name it. They wouldn't come into the East Coast. Now, the union wants better pay and is concerned about automation. The union head on Monday called the latest offers insulting and a joke. The head of the major port in Georgia putting it this way, quote, we should probably expect there to be a work stoppage and we shouldn't get surprised if there is one. The question is, how long? Ryan Peterson is the CEO of Flexport. It is one of the key players in the shipping industry as they help companies move their products all over the world. And Ryan joins us live here on the Hill. Ryan, thanks so much. I've been following you. Um, you say that if this is a week or so, it's a rerun of COVID. And if it's a month, it's, it's depression level stuff. Explain. Yeah, well, I, I don't want to be too hyperbolic on this. I think, uh, if it, if it goes for a few weeks, it gets pretty ugly. A week is probably OK. okay. Um, if it gets more, it gets into several months period, you're going to talk about second order effects where you can't really predict what will happen, where because these ships need to return back to the other country where they came from to go pick up more hmm. stuff. And so if they're instead sitting off the East Coast and not going back, you're going to have shortages two months from now that show up on the West Coast um, and everywhere else. So it's. It's not that the air networks or the West Coast ports can pick up the slack. I mean, we, our, our ports right. are vital economic infrastructure, and if they shut down, it's bad news. And, and one of the things that the industry is trying to do is, is essentially front run this by sending products out west, right? They had their most traffic month, I believe, ever. And if you go back to COVID, one of the big stories during COVID was the ships stacked up. And that's why you had uh, the cost of container going from like 1400 bucks to north of $20,000. Uh, is that what the industry is trying to do now? And can, can they escape it, escape that? Yeah, you know, brands, companies have been preparing for this. It's not like this strike came out of nowhere. People have known that the union contracts ends on Monday. It's, that's been known for six years. And people have been talking about it for, for, the last, for the better part of this year preparing in advance. So a lot of brands have brought merchandise in in advance. Some of them did that via diverting freight to the West Coast to just make sure they can keep operating even as the East Coast close, closes. But a lot of them just, you know, a few months ago, we had this peak and ocean freight prices have been really high as a result of it as brands kind of prepared for this. So that's another thing that'll help a little bit with the, if this if this shut down, you may not feel it immediately as a consumer, but it'll be the long run kind of impact as bottlenecks build up. And the more bottlenecks there are, the more scarcity there is in terms of space on the ships. And when something's scarce, you can charge a lot for it and the price goes really high. Yeah, so, so what would consumers feel then? I mean, I, I, it really just depends how long this lasts. Like that um, Georgia Ports Authority CEO said, if it's, if it's a few days, you may not even notice this at all. If it's a few months, you're gonna see really high inflation. Um, and, and, you know, in COVID period, when you had these delays in those, those ships you mentioned offshore, where there were hundreds of ships waiting off the, sh off the coast of uh, major American ports, that was caused by a huge increase in demand, a huge increase in imports to keep up with consumers who had stimulus checks and were putting cash mm -hmm. from taking money that they were spending on services and buying stuff online. And buy, you, know, you couldn't go to restaurants and right. hotels, so you were buying more right. things. That, that was a, a, a supply chain problem that was caused by an increase of demand. It's very different than a supply chain problem that's caused by a decrease in capacity, which is what this would be. Hmm. Uh, a supply side shock rather than a demand side shock, it's just a whole lot worse for the economy if you can't move goods. This is the circulatory system of the economy. If you turn it off, it has very dangerous implications. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.